So let's just yeah. dive right into this forecast because we still have a lot that we're monitoring here. As far as radar, thankfully there's not a lot here. So there's nothing new coming down as far as rain, freezing rain, any ice, there's no snow. Happy to see a break in the precipitation. So this is a welcome sign. We've been having radar like this since about 10 o'clock last night and even through the overnight. So happy that we've had a little bit of a moment to kind of dry out some of those roadways. You're going to notice not spraying as much. Of course, also though, keeping an eye still for a few slick spots out there. Hour by hour forecast. Now that we don't have the or the rainfall, I'm switching to our wind component here because winds already they've been calm, but I'm monitoring the chance that they are really going to pick up some steam here this afternoon. So you're going to find that they'll move in from the south. They're going to bring the warm temperatures with them. So really around lunchtime, you're going to notice that rush of warm air moving in. Wind speeds are going to be around 35 to 40 miles per hour. So for those who are in southeast Michigan, this is not what you want to hear. Even as we go through the, the afternoon and evening, we will still have those gusty winds for us. So that's why if you are in southeast Michigan, we still have you in those additional power outages because you have those trees that are just covered in ice and a lot of those are still being weighted down, not only with the ice, but then when you have the wind on top of it going to be problematic. We also still have power outages in southeast Michigan and with the winds, it's going to be hard for crews to get out there. So of course, just be mindful if you have any of those branches, maybe try to clean them up here this morning before the winds pick back up. Of course, though, if you still have ice on those trees, maybe just wait till it's all over with before that clean up. Now temperatures, keeping an eye to those, everybody in Northwest Ohio, a lot of those temperatures are into the mid 30s. We have 33 in Wasey on Bryan. That's our uh, coolest spots. You'll notice Southeast Michigan, no readings there. And the reason for that is because of power issues. We just don't have those sensors that are back online for us to get that data, but they are starting to see those temperatures hovering around the freezing point or at least warming up a little bit. Now, speaking of the warm up, temperatures are gonna be divided through Northwest Ohio today. You're gonna find the heat once those winds kick in, southerly winds are going to push temperatures further south into the 70s. For our southern counties, I wouldn't be surprised if you have Hancock, Wyandotte, Crawford County, even into Seneca County, you see some of those 60s out there, mid 60s even. The further north you go, Toledo, you're probably just going to make it into the lower 50s. Southeast Michigan, you're going to struggle to make it into the 50s, but hopefully above that freezing mark. For today though, on average, we're going to keep that temperature at 52 degrees as well as those gusty winds. Thankfully, dry weather in the forecast forecast for today. You're also going to have that for tomorrow and through the weekend. So we have some nice days to kind of help us clean up for our friends that we have in Southeast Michigan that have a lot of those branches down. Our next chance of rainfall, that isn't going to be until Monday. That's when though we'll pick up another round of some soaking rain. And as we work through the rest of this forecast, it'll be the following weekend that we are once again are talking about some precipitation chances. But even through the next 10 days, very mild 40s, a couple of 50s. As we get closer to March, this is actually Actually finally starting to be a March forecast because the forecast has been anything but what it should be here for the winter. <laughs> it's been wow. a little yeah. throwing us off. Yeah. 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 Just looking at those numbers. I'm just like, what's what's happening right now? Yeah, yeah they're all over the place and mm -hmm. they're not anywhere close to averages. <laughs> but as it warms up outside or our averages warm up, you can see they'll finally match what we're. OK, we're getting there.